John here. Electricians need to know connections. Now, I've done this video before, but I'm going to go into depth in connections this time. You need to know where the information comes from. You need to know how important it is to make really good connections. Now, the whole industry has been plagued with failure after failure after failure for years and years and years because the connections weren't made perfectly. Now, nobody knew how to make perfect connections in the 60s and 70s. Maybe one company, PR Mallory, had a capacitor division that had a, a metallurgy division. It had a, a lug and contact division that made lugs and contacts. And they had a scientific uh, division that they would analyze the failures and cut the failures apart. And back in the early 70s, there were a lot of uh, failures because the connections had been around uh, for many, many years in the 20s and 30s. So there was plenty of disasters out there to analyze. So what we found was uh, through some of our electrolysis engineers, our electrical uh, uh, engineers that worked in the capacitor division, uh, we partnered with them and they determined uh, along with our scientific division that the electrolysis process, which is DC for the most part, was still present in the AC connection and the AC uh, oxidation in the connection as it was put together was transferred into the interior of the uh, co connection so of the material so bolts nuts and lugs uh, are about 37 percent metal to metal the rest of it is oxygen there's, you squeeze this together and you still have 60-65% oxygen in this connection. That, over the years, creates oxidation. The oxidation then is transferred to the interior of the, of the material. So what, what you have is, let's say you have a, a split bolt connector the size of my fist, where you've got three or four of them sitting there. Well, one of them probably wasn't cleaned as much as maybe the other so the oxidation was present when it went together through the through the process of electrolysis it eventually burned up 15 20 years it disintegrated the others are fine they're not even warm so um, we we got to cutting those apart we cut it cut the new ones apart we cut the old ones apart we cut the ones that disintegrated apart and, we, and the ones that hadn't disintegrated and we analyzed the metal what we found was hard spots, non-conductive spots, all kinds of issues with the interior of the metal because even the, the stuff that was 99.99% .99 pure silver, the contacts that we made in the early 70s, uh, would still have the same issues. So we found that eliminating the oxidation was the number one issue. Eliminating the oxygen was the number two issue. And when you put together a connection without oxygen and without uh, oxidation, you got a really good connection and it lasts for a very, very, very long time. And that's what you want. If you have a critical load like Space Mountain, Motor Leads, uh, Big Thunder, any, any big amusement park where they have thousands of people uh, an hour going through the ride if it breaks down it's it's uh, an issue so they don't want those connections to fail so we learned early on how to prevent that how to make those connections so they don't deteriorate over 10 or 15 years over 20 years and fail taking out the oxygen and taking out the oxidation up front so, I started a small little company uh, under uh, Shook Electric, and we make a flat. Now this flat is a little piece of, of uh, granite, and a uh, little piece of granite. It's flat, it's six by eight. It's a good little sized piece of granite. And what that does, you put 
so pardon me put some sandpaper on it and the right grit you have to have the right sandpaper and you can polish these things now if you look at this lug this lug can either be hydraulically crimped it can be uh, it can be soldered it can be uh, manually crimped but anyway a lot of things are put together with lugs so and we'll address split bolt connectors and other issues um, as we go but if you look at this really really closely there's all kinds of dents and marks in it now this came right out of the box I didn't touch it I didn't do anything to it and there's another one uh, it's got bigger dents in it so when you marry these you get about 37 percent metal to metal that's it you don't get any more than that unless you want to flatten them out you want to make sure that these guys are flat so uh, I've got a couple of smaller ones that I picked up now you can see how bad this one is it's got oxidation all over it uh, you can they came right out of the box that way most guys will just wipe it off and put it together and that's the problem that's why we have so many failures over the years so if you use my little flat and you polish this thing flat you can still see uh, in this connector that some of it just didn't flatten out I mean there's just some areas uh, because it's not truly flat in the first place so after working with it for a few minutes we get this thing down to a polished surface a flat polished surface using our flat stone now this stone is inexpensive uh, you can buy flat stones all over the industry that are 0 .00001 uh, degrees flat well electricians don't need that electricians just need like a thousandth of, of an inch so that's that's all this is is about a thousandth and it's but flat enough and heavy enough uh, to uh, finish connectors now uh, as you can see even this this is not a hundred percent so when you you put this together with another lug like this you're going to get about 60 percent that's it you're not going to get any more than that but if you use a graded bolt and you anchor the graded bolt or, or lock the graded bolt down uh, they call it proof proof load uh, that will increase the amount of conductivity slightly uh, so and we sell because I was an amusement ride inspector I, I was a manager for Disney for uh, a number of years uh, in Anaheim and retired no one and became a ride inspector for the state and uh, in the 04 I think I, I became an independent and I went all over the world and inspect roller coasters uh, Indonesia Hong Kong Tokyo everywhere so uh, and uh, the counterfeit bolt industry is rampant there are more counterfeit bolts out there than I could even tell you about and as long as you don't buy your bolts directly from the manufacturer the odds are you're going to get a counterfeit bolt uh, maybe not maybe you'll get a good bolt but you need to know the source of your bolts um, we sell motor bolts uh, we sell just a small amount of, of motor bolts in a little package we buy them directly from the manufacturer so we know they're not counterfeit we know they're good there's instruction about how to put a clamp load on each size now that depends on the shank size it depends on the length and it depends on how many threads per inch so each set of bolts there's four bolts uh, eight washers in each bag and a nut uh, so and the instructions on how to put that into clamp now when you put that bolt into clamp it increases the conductivity and it increases the surface uh, metal to metal uh, of that connector it also uh, ensures that 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 clamp is not good now these are structural bolts so with with those bolts uh, we have an instruction uh, for if you use it for structure which is a little harder because it's a little more uh, intense because that bolt 
is a structural bolt so we give it to you both ways the electrical side and the structural side and that bolt can be used for either one and we know the source and we know it's not counterfeit and we know you're going to be uh, content with that bolt because it, it's uh, made for that so anyway um, well, anyway, if you go to buskit.com or shookelectric.com, we sell a bus kit. Now, this is the Pro Bus Kit. It's got a big deoxidizer in here that takes all the oxidation and, and contaminants off the bus, off the electrical connection or out of the electrical connection. Um, it's really, really good. It's in our Pro Kit. Uh, you've got quite a bit of electrical grease, and you got copper grease. you got a uh, 80 thousandth gauge uh, for gauging the breakers and you got these wisps the 2000 and the 4000 wisps that are both sided uh, they're clean for cleaning breakers it'll it'll clean uh, oxidation off of just about anything these wisps as long as you don't push too hard it'll reconfigure the contacts they're they're made for contact cleaning and uh, you got some lint free wipes and we got a lint free towel in there and uh, Pro Kit, and uh, we also sell deoxidizing bars. Uh, these guys are, are uh, really good at cleaning, cleaning up electrical connections, and that's what you need to do clean them up. Now, we've heard that there are 100,000 electrical connection failures a day in the U.S., and we want to do something about that. We want to make sure that these connections last uh, a lot longer than they have been. Okay, thanks for watching.